Welcome to this week's episode of Cross Body Pro Wrestling. I am Mark Evans alongside Les Morgan. And if you do not enjoy Mr. Atlantis's light up glasses and his sparkly head, then I don't know what the hell is wrong with him. Vanity uh, definitely could be something you can attack. Love, infatuated, and clearly spends a lot of time at the gym. He's probably one of those guys that just does nothing but curls for the girls. Curls for the girls, and he also rocking the dopest rhinestone for the man can possibly have on a road. Just beautiful, I know. It's breathtaking. You're taking the words right out of your mouth. It's just disturbing, really. Just, this is probably his favorite part in Auto Bond. Doing nothing but helping his ego. With him, Solo Ali, his tag team partner for this contest. Otto's got a speech. If, if you go to a romantic movie and there's not a dry eye in the house, call it and let it just start flexing, there won't be a dry seat in the house. Combination here, you see 
Rodrigo Montana had any choice of tag partner, and he went out not that far clearly and found a fabulous free beer. I don't know if he found him behind a dumpster or if that's just where Fabulous Freebeard found his wrestling gear. But just an odd combination. But however, Fabulous Freebeard can go. Don't let his odd look and shape and smell deter you from how badass of a human being and how great of a wrestler he could possibly be. I've sat ringside. Fair enough. So it looks like Rodrigo Montana will start this matchup against his former tag team partner, Mr. Atlantis, staring him down. Again, the vanity. Surprising that these two guys are going to start it out. They just want to get right into it, I guess, huh? And, oh, I guess not. So the match officially underway, and then that's when Mr. Atlantis retreats. To his corner. And the tag to the fabulous freebie. Looks like Rodrigo Montana wants to be fresh when he can finally get his hands on Mr. Atlantis. So Ali, Shelly Freebeard, gets the headlock on him. Driving that forearm to the side. Freebeard wisely trying to throw him off into the ropes. Oh, good shoulder tackle by Ali. Freebeard gets over him, goes for the hip toss, can't get it, and a quick shot to the chest. Big arm drag by nice Fabulous drag. Freebeard. Another the second drag. big arm drag, and he hangs on to that bad boy. And he applies the pressure right at the joint. And Solo Ali's left arm. Freebeard. Throw off that one. Big shoulder tackle by Freebeard. Huge shoulder tackle. Quick forearm. Whips him. Reversal. Misses with the clothesline. He tries his own hip toss and Freebeard hits the hip toss himself. Solo Ali goes for the tag. And Mr. Atlantis comes in. Uh oh, he's got the big dog in the corner and a nice drop kick to the knee of Mr. Atlantis. And oh, can't get him there. Quick forearms to the face of Mr. Atlantis. Don't be mad about that. Gets away from him there and tries the cross body and the big body of Mr. Atlantis catches him. Now he's going to be Turkey's former tag team partner after tossing his fabulous freebie towards his corner. This is like six episodes in a row where just nobody can Oh, come on. Look, this is brutal. This is a blatant choke. This is a blatant choke in front of the referee. Push it. wrestler at cross body that likes to work out mid-match and work on his physique. So he's got to take care of those impressive muscles that he has. Well, no shortage of gym time for Mr. Atlantis. And Freebeard just gets tossed into the corner at first. Big kick to the chest and follow up with a closed fist. Referee giving his warning to the lead. He tosses Freebeard out of the corner. Goes for the game. One, two. Just getting two. Solo Ali taunting Rodrigo Montana. And fabulous Freebeard. He's got to stay on him. Freebeard's been in some impressive contests in the past here at Cross Valley Pro Wrestling. Oh, big slam to the mat. And he'll go for the cover there. And he just gets to Freebeard getting the shoulder up. Freebeard is a real tough cat. He's young to the game, but he can take a, an ass whooping. I guess I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say it. I don't even know if I'm allowed to say that or not, but I just did. He gets censored in the middle. Fire me, I guess. Well, it's tougher to do with Ace Turing. All I'll tell pants. you, though, is that Freebeard's pants make me feel like I just took something. And it's freaking me out a little bit. Oh, Freebeard gets up. Oh, he was going for one, and... Can't get it done there. Big, big line by Mr. Atlantis. So Mr. Atlantis reversed the reverse and gets an impressive clothesline, almost taking the beard right off the face. Almost the as aggressive as his biceps that he just flexed just now. 
always putting on a show with his body, and he's going to get the free beard up. Oh, look how those tights almost had a life of themselves, and oh, this is the opening that Freebeard needs. And he gets the tag, he gets the tag, but the referee doesn't see. And Montana gets one shot in, and the referee, he didn't see the tag. And he is making Rodrigo Montana go back to the corner. Freebeard, he thought he could finally get a rest, and no. It's DDT right to the mat, one, two, and he kicks out. I told you Freebeard was tough. The Freebeard just had his head slammed hard to the mat. Still managed to kick out. Boston. That's a deep stretch. Oh, wow. And he's got that sunk in real tight. Yeah, the lower lumbar of Fabulous Freebeard is feeling every bit of that. I didn't even know Freebeard was flexible. He's trying to crawl to the ropes. And he gets there. He's got to break it up. He's got a five count to work with. Breaks it up at three. But the damage must be done to the body of the fabulous Freebeard. Quick forearm shot. Sending Freebeard to the mat. He'll go for the tag. Mr. Atlantis. And nothing but flexing in the corner. What are they setting him up here for? Again, he's tripping Rodrigo Montana. He knows he wants to get his hands on it. The Freebeard's going to the top. What's he going to do here? And the distraction. Finally, the cross body. A cross body. At Crossbody Pro Wrestling, he gets the tag, and Rodrigo Montana comes in like a bull. What a shoulder tackle. What a hip toss. My goodness. Spine. Beautiful spine buster by Rodrigo Montana, and he's going to get Mr. Atlantis up here and just throws him to the mat. And a big splash from the big man. One, two, Ali breaks it up. Good thing he just saved this match for his team. Autobahn clearly knows how to scout talented athletes. And Solo Ali keeping this match alive. Oh, big duck by the big man and a double shoulder tackle. The former, former, the former Laurier football star just comes out with a huge shoulder tackle. Big shoulder tackle indeed and again picks up Mr. Atlantis. He was going for a big slam and Solo Ali once again saving his tag team partner. Mr. Atlantis, oh that might have been a little lower than what's legal. Referee not in a good position to see. Gets Rodrigo Montana up. Oh, reverses. Oh, gets him that time. Quick snap suplex. And Rodrigo Montana kicks out. Oh, who, what does Mr. Atlanta's got going on here? He's got the chair. Audubon just threw in the chair. Oh, my goodness. He just... just took himself out. Oh, he just gave himself a chair shot. One, two, three. Rodrigo Montana picks up the victory. And now Solo Ali goes to work. He already disposed of the fabulous free beard. Come on, the match is over. And Solo Ali just interjecting himself in this feud between Mr. Atlantis and Rodrigo Montana. He didn't get the first shot, Mr. Atlantis will now get the shot to the back of Rodrigo trying Montana. To save his partner. Freebeard's doing his best to get his partner some help, but Solo Ali is not allowing it, and he'll just get tossed out of the ring. And the damage has been done to Rodrigo Montana. So again, Otto Bond has nothing but words to throw at Rodrigo Montana. Rodrigo Montana and Freebeard may have won the victory, but they have clearly not won the war quite yet.
special guest referee is Giselle Shaw. My name is Mark Evans alongside Les Morgan. Glad to have you this week on our episode of Crossbody Pro Wrestling. I'm here every week. Crystal Moon making her way down to the ring. Crystal Moon, the first of four ladies to make their way to the ring for this match. Crystal Moon has definitely had a couple of difficult outings against some very tough opponents. So here she's really looking to get on the winning track at Crossbody Pro Wrestling. This young lady has a lot to prove, and as you said, she's had a couple of rough outings, but she's got three very difficult opponents in front of her right now. To prove. Definitely try to make this happen. Sandra, Sandra Bale. You know, we say tough. She was as tough as nails as well. This is Sandra Bale's first match of crossbody pro wrestling. But believe me, she is a world travel veteran. And already playing the mind games against Crystal Moon. There she is in her debut. For crossbody. She'll be looking to make an impact here for management. Getting in the ref's face already. And the next participant from an undisclosed location in New Jersey. This is one in the forties. Another veteran of the game, Casey Spinelli, has been thoroughly impressive with her time here at Crossbar. Casey Spinelli, you can say, is the reason that we even have a women's division here at Crossbody Pro Wrestling. She literally snuck in the back door and demanded and took a women's division. That was after she attacked Crystal Moon. Like she just blatantly attacked Crystal Moon when she wasn't even set to wrestle. Gotta make a statement somehow. She's been doing it correctly because clearly... At Impact Wrestling now, so she's doing something right. Just had another trip over to Europe, and here she is. At Crossbody Pro Wrestling. And again, she always seems to have a safety plan. I can't figure out why she isn't a baby. She's providing lip service to everybody she passes. These kids aren't taking it. Less. You gotta remember she can back it up. Well, everything that she says she does back it up. Again, she does say a lot though. And here another impressive lady making her way to the ring. One heck of an actress. Jody Threat, who has been on war. Not only in her debut at Crossbody, not only in her debut at Crossbody Pro Wrestling, taking out two men. She has just been on a tirade through this women's division. The crowd seems to be 50 50 split on Jody Crack. She is associated with the Riot Maple. It's hard not to respect the toughness and the athleticism that she puts on display every time she's in there. Casey Spinelli already. Again, playing some mind games with Jody. And Giselle calls for the bell. This four-way matchup is underway. Everybody cautious. And right away, Jody goes after Moon. Moon responds. And, oh, oh, we're attacked. Everybody's attacking on Crystal one. Moon. Oh, come on. This is not fair for this young lady. And she is thrown into a tough situation. All three competitors is taking advantage of her. But just, oh, my Big F5 on Crystal Moon. Oh, it is an elimination match. So right away, Crystal gets eliminated. Big thumbs up. Uh, wait. Oh, what do we got? 
the elimination match continues. It, and, and it is what I thought it was. I was about to mention this before, but these two girls have been a tag team worldwide known as Bale Spin. I wasn't sure if they were going to work together or not. up on the matching outfits. Well, the argument could be the opening Jody threat needs. Looks like Jody's probably had enough of this conversation. She came here to win. I gotta tell you, this is the most interesting double team I've ever seen in my life. They are not working out very they well for them thus far. And another clothesline from Threat, a big clothesline there. Back elbow. Again, a clothesline to KC Spinelli. Jody Threat in control of two women at this point. Well, Jody Threat made her debut taking out two grown men, so it's a very good possibility that she could completely win her way into this match. Now, can she take out two opponents that both want to take her out at the same time? That's There's another that, question. Is that drop toe hold, and now the double. Oh, oh wow. elbow by KC Spinelli to the back of the neck. Bale spin Jody going to work. That was just violence. And that is putting Jody Threat in a very bad position here. Again, KC Spinelli going to work. Setting her up. This time she's going to go. Oh! Huge cross body into the corner. High impact and Giselle Shaw checking on. Jody Threat making sure she wants to continue. And again, Casey Spinelli just playing, out, playing it up to the crowd. Jody Threat getting a few shots to the midsection. And quickly there, shot to the back neck area of Jody Threat. She has taken a couple of high impact shots to that area of her body. Jody trying to at least get some sort of offense materialized and this two on one not working in her favor whatsoever. Jody's still fighting though. She is. And the funny thing is, this crowd started at the beginning of this match 50 50 split. Now I'm starting to hear them more and more cheering on Jody. Oh, gets the boot up. Quick shot to the midsection of KC Spinelli. And a beautiful Russian leg sweep. And this might be the opening threat needs. Goes for the cover. One, two. And Bale breaks that up. Referee Giselle Shaw with the two count. Trying to make sure that she keeps the peace, but Bale is certainly not doing so. And Bale could get disqualified with his elimination style four way earlier on, Crystal Moon getting triple teamed and then eventually eliminated by Threat. Trying to rip the hair right out of her head. They are trying to do just that and there might be hair in the hands of Spinelli after that toss. These women are feisty. Not shying away and again tossing Jody Threat by the head of hair. And that impact to the back of Threat. Balespin is doing a very good job at pretty much running this match. I mean, they took out Crystal Moon right away, and they're doing a hell of a job getting Jody Threat pretty much, you know. Well, she's been cornered. She's been cornered. And the other thing, too, was if, if talking could be an offensive maneuver, just think of how quick this match would have been over for that, you know, quote-unquote tag team. Well, one girl can only win here, and Casey Spinelli... Again, just throwing her body at Jody Threat, and Threat is still in a world of hurt. Should we do the. You want to show them the Oh, shot to the chest of Threat. More impact to the body, and again, this double team not going well for Jody Threat, setting her up here. Casey Spinelli bail to the second row. Oh, looks like Threat got out of that. Oh, throws her into the corner. Rolls her up for the small package. One, two. Almost, nope, didn't get her. Didn't get her. Giselle Shaw says that was two and a quick kick to the skull of Threat. 
by KC Spinelli. That was by far the best opportunity Joey Fred has presented for herself to try to get one up on She's these got two. a quick opening here, rolls her back up, and oh, only gets two. And Bale is still hung up in the ropes. And again, a quick shot from KC Spinelli. Spinelli's not helping here. She's trying to get her partner out of the corner. And here she's going to try to push her out. Not sure if this is going to be the best way to make this work. And does get her out by pushing her. Uh-oh, this is it. Threat's got her. One, two. Kicks out. Jody Threat almost eliminated Xandra Bale. Big forearm wow. by Spinelli. Again, the toughness of Jody Threat. The fact that she's withstood that tag team attack from Casey Spinelli and Xandra Bale has still been able to get a couple of pin attempts against each one of those women. And Xandra Bale is a hurt unit at the moment. Casey Spinelli realizing she needs to go to work on Threat. Make sure she can't get a breath in and get back in the match. Oh, threat reversal and slams KC to the mat. Is she going to get her here? One, two, and Bale breaks that up again. What a good friend. Well, as mentioned, only one woman can win this contest. So it's only a matter of time before the tag team gets broken up. A nice little front face buster there. Uh-oh, quick catch and slams her to the mat. Big Uranagi. Big impact. Gets bail up, and they're looking for it again. And Spinelli messed up. Oh, she no. messed up. Xander Poor Bale. Bale. She doesn't know where she is. is Bale okay? Oh, she's going to toss her out of the ring. Spinelli goes out of the ring. Hits the mat hard, leaving the two ladies in the ring. Jody Threat, Sandra Bale. Bale rolls up Threat. Threat rolls through. Gets her here. One, two, three. And she eliminates her. Threat eliminates two women. It's down to Jody Threat and Casey Spinelli. Can Jody pull it off? And Giselle Shaw trying to get Bale out of the ring. Can Jody Threat overcome all these odds and pick up the victory? Oh, she picks up Spinelli in doing she so. Hit the F5? And Bale, she needs to be in the back right now. This is not right. And Spinelli gets her. She drops her with that elbow. One, two, three, oh, and, and two to the distraction. KC Spinelli comes out victorious and a shot to the kidneys to boot. Shaw reluctantly raising the arm of KC Spinelli. And again, these two going to work to the body of Jody Threat. The match is over. Get them out of the ring. Like, this is ridiculous. Get out of the ring, ladies. And Spinelli trying to initiate any sort of violence. And unfortunately, the numbers game continues with both Xander uh, Bale and KC Spinelli. I don't think this is a referee that you're going to just push around, though, Mark. No, not at all. And she's had enough. She has had enough. Grabs Spinelli by the hair. She wants a piece. And Bale coming to the rescue. And there, KC just pushes Giselle Shaw and retreats out of the ring. on this week's episode of Crossbody Pro Wrestling. I am Mark Evans alongside Les Morgan and we are out of here.